Welcome to week four of our Spike Essential LEGO Robotics program. This week, we're gonna be jumping into the amazing amusement park using Spike Essential. Now, today's lesson, we're going to be talking about prototypes, making designs to make something better. We're gonna talk about improving something, testing it, and then refining it. Now, we're gonna do all this through looking at amusement park rides. Now, have you been to a, an amusement park before? Maybe if you live in Idaho, you've been to Silverwood, or maybe like me, I've been to Six Flags St. Louis. So think about an amusement park that you've been to, maybe Disneyland out in California, or Disney World, or Universal in Orlando. And I want you to think about a ride that you really enjoyed. Maybe you enjoyed the swings that go up and then spin you really high. Maybe you enjoy roller coasters. Maybe it's that pirate ship that swings back and forth. Or maybe just the carousel where you get on the different animals and go up and down as it spins around. Now take that idea that you have, that ride that you love, and I want you to think about a way that you might improve it. How could you make the ride that you like better? And take a minute, just think about that ride that you really enjoy riding. And how could you make it better? What would you change on it? I love to go fast, so I think my change would be pretty simple. I would just turn up the speed. That's what I would like to do with my ride. How about you? What would you change to make an amusement park ride better? How could you make your favorite ride more exciting? Some people really like roller coasters and they felt like to make it more exciting, they put the roller coaster indoors so it'd be completely dark. Some people really like roller coasters and instead of going up a big hill to start, they figured out a way to use magnets and make your roller coaster start really fast without ever going up a hill. So we're gonna be designing a, a amusement park ride today and then we're gonna be making it better. We're just gonna start with a prototype and then we're gonna find ways to make our build better. So here's what I'd like you to do. On your computer, go to spike.legoeducation.com. So I'll do that right here, spike.legoeducation.com. And this is where we're gonna get our building directions for today, as well as start coding. And we're using Spike Essential, the green kit, so we will click underneath that trash monster for Spike Essential. And then we're gonna click on unit plans today. And the first three weeks we were in great adventures. Now we're moving on to amazing amusement park. And we're going to start with lesson two, the classic carousel. On your own, you're welcome to build the fast lane. That's a really exciting one and it's great to do right after you've done the animal alarm because it uses the light and the color sensor. But this week we're gonna do the classic carousel. Now, I'd love it if you could read this. I'm gonna pause for just a moment and then I'm gonna read this out loud. Sophie is having fun at the amusement park. She wants to try all the rides. Sophie thinks it would be fun to try a spinning ride. Build the carousel for Sophie to try. All right, so we will start. I'm gonna build right here. You're welcome to mute me or pause me, or if you wanna build right along with me, that'd be great. This is also a fantastic build if you have a brother or sister that wants to build with you as well. So what we'll do is we're gonna start with our hub, and remember our hub is the brains of our robot. And so I turn it upside down, and it looks like I'm going to need four of those little green pegs that let me stick this hub right onto any of the base plates that we're using. There we go, on to the next step. And we'll be using the large base plate today. We'll just stick that right down here. And if you're building with another family member or somebody else, 
A great way to do this is to take turns. So one person does all the even steps, one person does all the odd steps. And here in a moment, I'm gonna say, okay, now this is where two people could build at the same time and just substitute pieces. All right, next we need a motor. And our motor is that one that allows us to add movement. This one also needs four of those green pegs. That tells me we must be attaching this to the base plate. Right, I have my four green pegs attached. And in step four, it shows me to put this at the corner of my plate. Like I said earlier, if you have a sibling or another family member that's gonna build with you, go ahead and give them a large plate and give them the other motor and they can go ahead and build everything that we're building and just substitute parts if we run out of a part. All right, next up is that little yellow axle. And that axle's only three long, so it's not this one. This one's too long. I need this short one. And put that right inside the motor. On top of my motor, I can put a green round, and that slides onto the axle. So as that axle spins, it'll make that Lego piece spin. Now we're ready for one of these. <clears throat> And on each side, I'm gonna put a dark gray ball joint, just like that. Now this will be the first piece that you won't have enough, actually you will have enough on this step if you're having somebody else build with you. So both of you can build this exactly the same if you're building with a sibling. We're just covering these up with this orange smooth piece because it makes it look a little bit nicer. All right, I see in step nine that we need to build something first and then we'll attach it to what we've already made. So I see we need two of these and you should have enough if you have a sibling to do those. And then I see I'm using these purple circles. You could also use these yellow uh, shapes instead of the purple circles if you're building with somebody else. And I see they attach on top of the purple and then we'll smooth them out using those orange smooth pieces. And then we attach them on by pressing them onto that ball joint. It's a cool little joint because it lets you make adjustments to how this piece is facing. All right, and it's a good amusement park ride, so let's add a flag on top. And our final step, we'll take this and hold it by the orange cone and we'll just press it down onto the axle and attach it to that green circle piece that's on there. And this is a quick and easy build, but we're gonna be making some changes to it as we go through our lesson. You can put one or two people on here riding the ride, whoever you want to be riding it. And now we're ready for our challenge. Here's your challenge. Create the program that's gonna make the carousel spin. Now, we need to connect our hub, and so how we'll do that is we'll press the little yellow circle in the top left corner of our screen. It gives us these two steps to follow. We're gonna click open, and I always press the button on top of my hub just one time. I don't hold it down, I just press it once. It starts to flash, and then my hub pops up on this pair screen. I click the blue pair button. I know it's connected when this light turns blue. And there we go. So now we're ready to code. All of our programs need to start with some sort of event. And so this first event we're gonna start with is when the play button is pressed. So play. Now let's tell it how fast to go. And we're using 
motors that just need to spin. This is not a vehicle. If we were using a vehicle, we would use pink movement blocks for our motors. But because this is just one motor, or if you have a friend building with you two motors, and they're only supposed to spin and not drive in any direction, that's why we're using blue motor blocks. So we have our rotation to go slow, and we're gonna turn to the right two times, or turn clockwise two times. So we'll go ahead and push the play button and see if this works. Excellent. So our character travels around slowly in a circle. We're gonna go ahead and press the next button and just using code, I want you to make your ride more exciting. How would you make this ride better? What would you do? Would you add music? Would you add scenery? Or would you change the speed or how often it spins? So for mine, actually now's a great time to just pause the video code this so that it's a more exciting ride. How would you make it better? This is our prototype of a ride, which just means it's a rough example, a working model of a ride that we want to create. We've made our design, but now we're gonna improve it. So that's your challenge right now. Improve the carousel. I want mine to start with a sound, and then I want the speed to be a little bit faster. And I like when rides change directions. And then I think it'd be fun to make my people think that the ride is over, but then spin them around one more time and then play a sound to be done. So I'll push play on mine. Plays my sound, spin. and it plays my sound one more time to show me that it's done. All right, take some time, make some improvements to this ride just using code, and then we're gonna go back and refine our prototype. We are going to make some changes to this to make it better. So, after you've made your improvements to the code, I want you to answer just a couple questions for me. How did you make your carousel spin? You used blue motor blocks, but then how did you change how it spins? For me, I made it go faster and I made it change directions a couple times. How did you make your carousel spin? How did you upgrade the code that we were using? The final thing we're going to do is now we're going to upgrade, refine this carousel. How can you make this better or more like a ride that you would want to ride? I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. You could keep the ride looking similar to this, but make it taller. You could add more seats to this ride so that more people could ride on it. Or you could even change the direction that they ride. One thing I like to do is I like to bend these upside down so that you spin around upside down while you ride. So, use these ideas and improve your design. I can't wait to see what you make and how you improve this carousel to make for a more fun ride. Are you gonna make room for more people to ride on it? Are you gonna change the direction that it spins? Are you gonna make it go higher? How are you going to make your carousel more exciting? So that's your challenge. Go ahead and get to work. And then when you're finished, show off your new ride to somebody else. And I want you to tell them, what were you thinking about when you decided to improve your carousel? What changes did you make to make it more exciting? And then finally, how did you know you made enough improvements? Go ahead and share that with somebody and tell them all about the carousel ride that you created. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Have an awesome time building and coding.